In these series of videos, we'll look at American culture from 1992 through 2008. There are two videos on culture in 1990s and two videos on the culture in, from 2000 to 2008. This first of the two uh, videos on American culture in the 1990s primarily looks at the way technology and science shaped American culture. American culture today is, you know, has been dominated by rapid changes in technology. The Microsoft company continued to lead in new software for computers, releasing new versions of its Windows system, making founder Bill Gates one of the richest men in the world. But by far the biggest development in the 1990s was the growth and commercialization of the Internet. British scientist Tim Berners-Lee, shown below on the left, invented the World Wide Web in 1989 when he created three fundamental technologies. HTML, or hypertext markup, uh, was the, sort of the formatting language of uh, the web. URL, Uniform Resource Identifier, uh, kind of like was an address that was unique for individual resources and sites on the web. While HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, allowed for uh, the retrieval of linked resources from across the web. These three made the World Wide Web possible. Berners-Lee went on to create the first web browser in 1990 and allowed the public to join in 1991. Berners-Lee was later knighted by Queen Elizabeth. By 1994, the World Wide Web Consortium, abbreviated as W3C, was created to establish the international standards for the emerging World Wide Web. In 1995, the National Science Foundation began registering domain names for websites and immediately had over 100,000. By the end of the decade, the numbers were in the millions, and by this point, commercial interest approved by ICANN, the Internet Corporation of Assigned Names and Numbers, which was created in 1998 as a multi stakeholder nonprofit, they controlled the domain registry process and do still today. The early Internet used traditional telephone lines and modems to connect computers, which became known as dial-up Internet. It was eventually improved with faster service in the late 1990s and early 2000s with the spread of broadband technology. In the mid-1990s, Netscape was the most popular browser and Yahoo was the most popular search engine. This was, of course, early in the Internet Revolution. Google soon became the most popular uh, search engine uh, so popular that people refer to looking up things on the internet as Googling. Uh, Google was established by doctoral students at Stanford University, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, shown to the left here. With better encrypting, online businesses exploded, including in 1995 eBay, shown below left, and uh, Amazon, the latter founded by Jeff Bezos, shown on the right. Uh, that started, Amazon started as an online bookseller. Today, Amazon have expanded from books to almost all products. It's one of the world's largest and wealthiest companies, while Bezo ranks with Gates as one of the world's richest men. As noted in previous videos, this rapid expansion of the 1990s of online businesses led to a dot-com bust as the decade ended. In time, however, the growth of online businesses dramatically impacted all businesses, some negatively and others positively. Old stalwart retailers such as Sears Roebuck and JCPenney suffered, while many larger box store retailers such as Walmart adequately adapted. Today, virtually all businesses maintain an online presence as the virtual economy continues to spread. Along with the growth of the Internet, computers improved in all respects, including memory, speed, and software. Computer gaming spread tremendously during the 1990s, replacing the arcade-dominated computer games of the 1980s. Nintendo came out with the first handheld gaming console in 1989, you can see in the top left, and then uh, moved on to Super Nintendo with uh, an improved console for the com uh, computer, that's shown in the top right. In 1995, Sony Corporation came out with its place station, the bottom right shown here, and became one of the more popular gaming systems. 
The quality and breadth of computer games spread as 3D grew in popularity. One of the more popular computer games early was a series of sim games. The, the simulation games such as Sim City, where players created and, and ran their own cities. As 1999 gave out, December 31st and beginning of the new millennium, there was a panic. People feared that the computers would uh, all you know, stop working. There, This was called the Y2K panic. And that was because many computers, it was expected, they, uh, in, instead of allowing four digits for the year, many computer programs only allowed two digits. So 99 instead of 1999. And, uh, you know, as a result, there was uh, sort of this worry that the computers would be un unable to operate when the date moved from 99 to 00. zero. The computers wouldn't be able to handle it. It, uh, it. it passed, however, without much of a problem. As an aside, personal video recording had been first marketed in the 1980s. You can see these big TV-like things on the left here. But by the 1990s, the camcorders, as they were known as, were smaller and handheld to the shown to the right. And they had smaller tapes. People still like them because the tapes could be used with their VHS VCR machines. By the end of the 1990s, however, they were being replaced with all vi digital videoing, which of course could easily be transferred to the computer. Along with improvements in computers and their applications, there was tremendous advances in science and medicine in the 1990s. In 1990, the Hubble telescope, named for the astronomer Edwin Hubble, was launched into space by NASA and the European Space Agency. And uh, it was designed to be repaired by astronauts, and it's still in use today. Uh, it was outside the distortions of the Earth's atmosphere, and so it could you know, see further and more accurately than surface-bound telescopes. And over the years, it's made numbers of discoveries, including the rate of the expansion of the universe. In the late 1990s, there began construction on the International Space Station, which has been used for hundreds of uh, experiments over the years. In 1997, the Hale-Bopp comet swung past the sun for the first time in 4,300 years, and it offered scientists a close-up view of a comet from the furthest reaches of the universe. In a tragic twist, uh, a cult in San Diego known as Heaven's Gate committed a mass suicide, believing that in death they could reach extraterrestrial beings who would follow in the wake of the comet. In total, 39 people of the Heaven's Gate cult died. And you can see some of the bodies they found uh, in this suburban San Diego home uh, on the right. By the 1990s, the medical community was widely using the antiviral drug AZT to prevent the spread of HIV. It helped make AIDS something less than a death sentence it had been before in the 1980s. AZT, however, came a bit late for the uh, famous British singer Freddie Mercury of the popular group Queen. He died of AIDS in 1991. In 1996, scientists in Britain cloned the first mammal, Dolly the sheep. In the years since, scientists have cloned several other large mammals. In any event, this concludes the first of two videos on American culture in the 1990s, this one looking at the impact of science and technology on American culture.